So two quarterbacks, one non-quarterback representing each side. And both the AFC and the NFC are going to start with their non-quarterbacks. For the AFC, that means Von Miller, the seven-time Pro Bowler for the Broncos. What do you think of this strategy? I like starting it out at the beginning just to see how many you can get. And if I'm Von, I'm throwing it up. Be aggressive. Go for the five-pointers, the four-pointers. See if you can't make some magic happen. He's trying to nail the one-pointers there, Bug. You got the one-pointers, you see the two-pointers there, the three-pointers on the sliding wall, deep in the corner of the four-pointers, and the five-pointers hanging high. You know, this is every defensive player's dream. Give me the ball. I'm going to show you. I can be a quarterback. I can throw the ball just as good as anybody on my team. Trust me. I would have loved to do this. One wow. minute per player, and right now a goose egg as we come to a half-minute left for Von Miller. There he goes. He's on the board. Not much Von Miller can't do on the football field. But I think we might have found something. A couple of these throws. Ah. I don't know. Jim Kelly, question your coaching abilities. Oh, just missed on the slider on the wall there in precision passing. Last couple throws here. Six seconds left. Trying to go deep. As Miller, this should be his last throw, sitting on two points. Looking for that four-pointer in the deep corner. And he finishes with two. Oh my, Vaughn. Already, already Captain Kelly is distancing himself from you. He just came over to me and said, to be truthful, I never saw him throw. Now, how do you think he did? I did good. I did real good. I did real good. No, it just depends on the day. I got good quarterbacks behind me that back me up, so I'd be good. Now, was it tougher than you thought? No, it wasn't. It wasn't tough. I just got to had to get the rhythm, and by the time I got it, it was already over. All right, thanks, fine. Good luck to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Come on, man. Come on, take a rest. You want a non-quarterback in precision passing? This was Witten yesterday, Book. I'm concerned about the spiral action, big fella. There's a little wind out there. <laughs> Broad side of a barn is exactly right, boys. <laughs> And he tweets it out. Oh, oh, and, and then the celebration. The <laughs> five point cable target there that Von Miller didn't even attempt to. And here is the non quarterback participant in precision passing. For the NFC is the Vikings receiver, Adam Thielen, who had 113 catches this year. But in college at Minnesota State, nor with the Vikings, has he ever thrown a pass in a game. Yeah, it kind of looks like it so far. Oh. He's short arming it a little bit. <laughs> looks like my golf swing some, you know? He's just got to really get that thing winding up a little bit more. Take the layups. I just go for the one-pointers with what I'm seeing from him right now. There he goes for two. So he ties up. Von Miller's total was still a half minute to go here. Oh, he's looking for that three-pointer on the slider. Of course, we add up the total of all three players. As Thielen's trying to arc one in for a four-pointer. And off to the side there. Trying for that five-pointer, went over the top. Wait, you should be giving him advice on that cable target. Yeah, it's moving a little bit, but he's got that. Oh, right through it! How about that? Adam Thielen with a five-pointer and a 10-point performance from the receiver. Look at that touch though. With it moving, right uh. through the middle. I like it, Thielen. Even Russell's saying mad props there. <laughs> Adam, given what Vaughn did before you, what was kind of your mindset uh, going in? Well, I was going to try to tie him or beat him, and then Russell told me just get as many as you can. And, uh, but uh, my strategy changed about 10 times while I was going, so, so my strategy didn't work out so well. well. It went from what to what? Well, I was going to just keep attacking the twos, but then I'm like, oh, that five looks pretty good, and I uh, started going for that one. Well, once you got hot, you did pretty well. Like, have you ever attempted a pass in, a, in an NFL game? I have not yet, but hopefully soon. All right, let's lobby for that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. My arm's gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> hey, the spiral was just pretty It was alright, it was alright. The deep balls, I can throw the deep balls. So when I have to think about the precision, yep. that was good. 
That 10-point performance we just saw by Thielen, hey, that surpassed what a star quarterback did last year. Russell Wilson struggled in this competition a year ago, only had eight total points. Now, Wilson's going to get his chance at redemption a little later on. But next up is the 23-year-old Texans quarterback, Deshaun Watson. Of course, missed the final nine games of his rookie season in 2017, had that horrific knee injury. And then all he did this year is come out and have a dynamic season stat line and lead the Texans to that AFC South championship. Four pointer to get things going. Off to a good start. A little bit of pressure on these quarterbacks now. I mean, you can't allow Thielen to score more points than you have. I mean, that's that's just, that's not gonna fly, but you're hearing it all week. <laughs> right. Gathering a one pointer there. As you see the white smoke signifying a target hit. He wants that four-pointer in the deep corner. You know, that seems to be the most popular one looking at the competition last year this year, that four-pointer in that corner. Ah! Now, he didn't break that for you, even though he saw a little bit of smoke, but that three is good. Getting that slider on the wall, looking for a two-pointer as he sits at eight right now, final 10 seconds, as he's able to bring his total up to 11. Final throw for Deshaun Watson. Looks like he broke it right there. Looks like he may have gotten a piece of that four-pointer. And you do see the total I got the four. 15. I got the four. Yes, you did, Deshaun. <laughs> Julius Smith-Schuster making sure that they know that his team got the points. This is that deep ball by Watson as he went to the corner for four points. You see him crack the target. Lisa standing by with a young gun, Deshaun Watson. Thank you, Tess. Deshaun, that one counted, that four-pointer, that, that counted. How good did, does that feel? Uh, that one kind of had some more points, but uh, I should have hit the, the ones and the twos, though. But I got uh, sidelined by one of those line things. They need to count that one, too. Why? <laughs> for sure. I mean, that's cheating up there. You know, how much pressure was on you when uh, a non-quarterback put up 10 on the board? Did that add anything to it? I mean, it for sure did, because uh, we weren't expecting him to put up 10, but uh, I think luck going to make sure we get him back. All right, good luck to you guys. Mitchell Trubisky next up here in Precision Passing. <laughs> NFC got off to that good start with Adam Thielen's 10 points. And now Trubisky trying to arc it in from about 40 yards out for a four-pointer to get his day going. Remember, a minute on the clock. I feel like he may have cracked the top of that. So eight points for Trubisky. Now he only gets credit for one of those four pointers. Once you hit a target, you can't repeat the target. You know, it's been really good watching this young man mature as a passer, especially Matt Nagy, everything he did with him. The future's bright for young Mitchell Trubisky. And I think if he went to a little RPO fake there, <laughs> yeah. zone read, he'd be a little bit more accurate with that throw. Well, that Matt Nagy, Kansas City-style offense that came to Chicago with great success. Hit the rim there on the five-pointer. Trying to break through it in these final seconds. Trubisky sitting on 11 points, and that cable moved on him. As he was trying to bring it home there with a five-pointer on the cable target. They start moving the whole telephone. Here we go. This probably looks familiar to Whitbook. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't count today. Should have counted yesterday, Big Bell. <laughs> I played a little draw, you know, on mine. So. Remember, it doesn't count if you hit the frame. You have to break through or crack the target. NFC leads 21 to 17 as Wilson and Luck still to throw. Lisa is with them. Thank you, Tess. All right, guys, this is it. Final round. You're down by four. So I want to know your mindset going into this final round, uh, Andrew. Uh, one throw at a time and uh, hopefully hit some targets, I guess. See what happens. All right. Good luck to you. Russell, this event wasn't so kind to you last year, but uh, and I hate to bring that up, but does that factor in at all? You think? Have you been thinking about it for the last year? Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about Andrew going first first pick overall. He always just go in front of me, man. So I I'm ready. I'm, I'm coming for the win. I'm coming for the win. All right, good luck. Go get Let's it. Go, go get Let's it, you guys. Go, go get it.
Okay. So here's Andrew Luck with the AFC trailing by four. He is the final precision passer for the AFC. The second in the NFL this year with 39 touchdown passes. Remember, a minute on the clock for Andrew Luck, who's going to try to grab the four-pointer right away. As he hit the rim there. Beautiful thrown ball for Luck. I think the shoulder really recovered. You know, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, think about just that, fine. You know, I think he's just fine. What a year Luck. he had. Front runner for comeback player of the year. Missed all 2017 after the shoulder surgery. See if he can gather some one-pointers here. You know, I heard him talking about their strategy. They were going to go fours, threes, and ones, Tess. And with that last throw, AFC now in the lead, 22 to 21, as he is going to need to add to it with Russell Wilson still to come for the NFC. See if he can get one of those three-pointers. The sliders on the wall Woo! off to the right. Final seven seconds. He's running out of gas. Five-pointer off the mark. He was just north of that. And he misses there as well. Oh. So he just takes the lead uh. by one point with a five-point <laughs> performance there, from the Colts quarterback. Yes, so nice. uh. Uh. Okay, I still got to get them. I still got to get them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We we'll, we don't like winning close. We're gonna run right with this thing. Let me get some. The NFC only needs two points to win the precision passing, and that's because the NFC's non-quarterback Adam Thielen doubled the score of the AFC's star quarterback Andrew Luck as Russell Wilson is set to throw. I'm going straight for that foe. Go ahead and break it open now. I'm going to go ahead and break the game open early. Remember last year, he struggled here in precision passing. Only had eight points. Two away from a win. And that'll do it. That's the win for the NFC, but you know Russell wants much more than that. The all-time record, by the way, is a 21-point performance. Mm. Lisa motivated him. You know, talking about last year's oh. score, he's trying to break it. Right now he's looking to break that four-pointer. There's a five right through the heart of that cable target. And right into the four as well. So already a good outing from Russell Wilson. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember Deshaun Watson came in at 15 as well. And now Wilson up to 17 and can add to it with these final throws. So Russell Wilson is going to be the high point mark today in precision passing as a dominating win for the NFC. 40 to 22 is your final in precision passing.